In this video, we're going to have a look at the seating arrangements that can be created using Event Prime, the Events Calendar. And we're going to look at the Event Prime Live Seating, which is part of the premium version of the plugin. So the plugin has been installed and activated, and let's head over to Event Prime. Inside Event Prime, you can set uh, a global library of sites and locations and in one of those sites and locations we will now create a seating arrangement. So in a previous video we created an event which had standing um, option only. We've now installed the seating plugin and we're now going to add the seating to the same venue. So here we are we're logging into this demo site and we're going to scroll down the demo venue section until we get to seating type. If I scroll to the bottom you'll see that there are no additional options available. However when I change the option to seating you'll see that a few more options are added. Let's change that capacity to let's say we can seat 100 people. We have five rows of chairs and we have 10 columns. So there we have our seating arrangement from row 0 to 9 for the 10 columns and A to E for the five rows. Now let's say in this venue we have some rows. So we'd like to add a row, let's say we want to add a row before the third column. We would then simply select the row using the number at the top, uh, the, uh, the column with the number at the top, and we'd add an aisle. Similarly, if we wanted to add another aisle to the left of number seven, we would add. If we want to remove that aisle, once again, we would click on the number just after the aisle and click on remove. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add the aisle, and let's for argument say that there is one uh, aisle that runs from left to right in the row and let's say that it fits above column above the row d and there we've added the aisle now when the user wants to book the venue they can now select a seat so we'll pop over to the front end and see how that works so here we are on the front end of our website and we're going to go and have a look at the, the event. Here we are on the event page and if I scroll down you will see that the booking status is now 2 of 50 are booked and that ties in with the 10 rows, uh, 10, 10 columns by 5 rows of seating. If I now make my booking will now be directed to the booking page. Right, so on the booking page, you will see now the seating arrangement. I can now quite easily come in and select the seats. Simply click again to deselect. So I can now select the seats that I would like to sit on. So I might want to book those two seats there. And I could put in the, the name, so demo name one. All right, so there we have the names and we'll proceed. Right, so here we are, and you'll see that before the final booking, we have a summary page before we hit proceed to, to secure the booking, and you'll see that we have seats numbers B4 and B5, and I can now proceed. And that will confirm my booking. So there we are, there's the demo event. If I go in to view the details, 
it'll indicate the seats that I have booked for that event and number of two attendees. I also then received an email uh, regarding the, um, the booking. So we can just quickly have a look at that. So here is my, my booking confirmation from the website to demo. And it's a demo event. My ticket B4, B5, quantity is two. So booking is confirmed and uh, email received. Right, so if we wanted to book a, another set of tickets and we head back to the events page and we head over to that event, and we say book now. You'll see that the seats that were booked uh, previously are now indicated as booked. So I can't book those seats. Right. Um, if I want to change my booking, uh, let's say that I'm not happy with that um, booking and I want to change my seating arrangement. I'll head over to my profile page. And you'll see that I've made uh, two bookings for the event. So my second booking was the one where I booked the seats. I can click on the details to confirm that it is that specific event. Uh, no, that was the one attendee head over to the first one. And there are the number of attendees too. And I want to cancel that request. So I'm putting in a cancellation request. Booking status is cancelled. I can head back to events. And now when we look at the booking, you'll see that it's back to the original two status. And if I go to book now, you'll see that the seats are available. And let's say we wanted to make provision for uh, social distancing. We can do that in the plugin as well. We can head back to the back end. And what we can do now is we can reserve seats. So I could say reserve reserve select save and when I head back to my seating arrangement and I refresh my seat my page You will remember that we set the layout here for social distancing on that particular event. However, those that seating arrangement isn't being reflected on the booking page. In order to get the event seating to reflect on the booking page, we're going to change the seating arrangement in a different part of the plugin. To do that, we will head over to events. We'll head over to our event and we'll go to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll see that we have a seating arrangement icon. We'll select that. And here you can see the seating arrangement. So what we'll do is we'll apply the social distancing pattern here. Hit the reserve button and all those seats change to red. We'll save that. Now we'll head over to our event and refresh the page. And there you'll see that the seating has been reserved. 
So the great thing about this now is that I can preserve the social distancing based on the uh, seat allocation. If I want to make a booking, I can now make a booking and I can't select a reserved seat. So I would reserve my seat. Enter my name, proceed. If I'm happy with my seat, I would proceed. And the booking is now confirmed. Right, so let's head back now to the admin because if I have booked a seat, I would need to receive a ticket with my seat allocation indicated. In the admin now, you'll see that I have a tickets module which was added when the seating module was added. I will select tickets. Ticket loaded, I will now enable the tickets. And you'll see that a new set of fields are available and I can now select a template which I would need to go and create and maximum number of tickets per booking so we won't put in a, a limit there and then allow a volume discount. In this case we are not looking to allow a volume discount as there's no cost so let's go and set up that ticket template. So we head over to Event Prime and we scroll down to Tickets. And we will now add new. So here we can create our template. We'll call this the template for demo event. The font we can go with um, Helvetica. So you can see as I change the font, so the ticket changes. I can select a different color, background color. And of course, a border color. Might want to make that a little bit darker. And if I have a logo, I could upload a logo. So let me upload a logo. I'll just choose an image. And we'll use that as the logo. And that's where the logo will appear. So there we have our ticket. Um, maybe the red is a little bit too much red. Let's drop that down a bit. Not so good. That's a little bit easier on the eye. And we'll save that. Then we'll head back over to our event. On the events page we'll head over to our dashboard. On the dashboard we will head over to tickets. We'll add our ticket which was called demo event. We won't put a max on the bookings. There's no volume discount and we'll save. Right, so there we have tickets added to the event. I can now head over to the event. I can head over to my user profile. Right, so there we have a summary of the events that um, I'll be attending. And these are the events that I would have submitted, which I haven't. So, and there are the transactions, a summary of what's happened. So let's go and book a new event. And let's have a look at the ticket. 
So we will make a booking. All right, so we'll choose the seat over here. Proceed. Here we have the summary. We'll proceed again. We're happy with that. Right, and now we've been redirected to the page and to con proving confirmation. And if I go to the user profile page, you will see that the event has been added. So let's have a look at the emails that have come through. So here is my email confirmation to confirm my booking and to access my ticket. I would head over to my bookings on my user profile page and I can select details. And inside the details tab, you'll see that I have a ticket and I'd select the ticket select print PDF let's have a look at that and there is the ticket printed should I wish to print that out to take along to the event right so that's how easy it is to create the ticket for the event Right, let's head back to the admin area. Um, so here in the admin area, you can see the different bookings that were made. If I head back to the main screen, and we head back to our event, and I hover over, you will see that the booking status has been updated as per the latest bookings. So I hope you enjoyed that video to see how you can set up the seating arrangement for your event. Thank you for watching.